Fetagem presents a Final Fantasy IV playthrough, Part 30, The End. What's up, everybody? It's Thetagem, and yes, it is that time. We're here at the end of the game, one step forward, and Fusoya and Golbees take care of Zemus once and for all, or so we hope. In any event, before I take that step, I want to check out my inventory. I need to make sure that my stuff is exactly where I need it because I do not want to be fucking around in here. I shouldn't need remedies, and I shouldn't need ethers or potions. Let's put elixirs right up at the top. If we get damaged to a point where we need to heal and Rosa's turn isn't coming up anytime soon, those elixirs are going to be pretty damn useful. I'll put the Phoenix Downs up here as well, just in case. If somebody bites the dust, I'll use the Phoenix Down with somebody and an elixir with the next guy, and we'll be good to go. All right, let's take that step. Golbees, Fusoya. And in case you didn't know, I am not controlling any of this. Let's just sit back and enjoy. There will be dialogue and I'll read it for you for sure. Almost. Put all your power into Medio. Right. Use it all. All your energy. Even if my body dies, my soul is immortal. Well, hot damn. over. What a tragedy. He had such fantastic powers, but he was consumed by evil. Yahoo! Oh, you came. And here I am, all pumped up to fight that bastard. Oh well can't be breaking a sweat in front of the ladies. Cecil. Cecil. Uh, Cecil, could you piss upon the monster, please? He's caught on fire. I am pure darkness. Augmented by Zemus's hatred. My name is Zeromus. I am hatred. Zemus? Death only increased his hate. Zemus. No. Zeromus. You will meet your end by my hands. Be gone, Zeromus. Well, hot damn, that is not what you want to see. Media won't work on him. It's time to use the crystal. Another crystal? How many fucking crystals are there in this game? If one who chose the path of darkness were to use the crystal, it would fail to shine. Only return to the darkness. Die. Suffer, perish, until everything is destroyed. 
my hatred will continue. Now you, come into my eternal darkness. Oh no, they're, they're gonna die. Everyone. Now the time has come for us to pray for them. No, we must pray for the earth. Palum, Porum, we must send our prayers to Cecil. Sir Cecil. Show us true courage. We're all waiting for you. Come back alive. The earth. Fight for the earth. Stand up to him. We're also praying for you. Hang in there, bud. Mr. Cecil, everyone. Moon, receive our prayers. Golbies, Cecil, t uh, take this. You use it. And we received the crystal. Zeromus, I will destroy you. Hey, dude. We'll send you our strength. Their kindness gave the power to live. Oh, hell yeah, we're back. Everyone, be brave. <laughs> Believe in yourself. Their wishes gave the power to endure. Concentrate. You better come back alive. Their prayers gave the power to resist. May the moon give you its light. My brother, entrust the crystal with your holy energy. Zeromus, show your true form. All right. I know the music is epic, but this is important. The first time, well, I'm going to jump with Kane. We need to use the crystal, and that's what's going to show his true form. So here it is. We'll use the crystal. Edge is eventually going to get a turn. Do not use the cleaver first. I don't know why, but the first thing you throw at him does zero damage. So waste a Hellwind Shuriken or something, and just be prepared for it to do no damage. So we'll get rid of this. Zeromus's true form has revealed itself. G g g okay. 
And, if you didn't realize, we're going to be using Bahamut. You see that, how the first thing had no effect? If that was the cleaver, you would have been so fucking pissed. Alright, I'm going to cast Shell on us. It's not going to, it's really not going to help, but it'll make me feel better. Okay, it's time for the cleaver now. Hell yeah. Alright, of all the things he could have done to us, that's probably the least of our worries, but I'm still going to heal with Rosa. Hell yeah, good as new. Let's get oh shit. That's the big one. How bad is this gonna hurt? Ooh. Okay. We are going to use elixirs because I do not want to die. It's not that I need the uh the MP, it's that I need the HP. go, you're good as new, no longer in the danger zone, and this should take care of everybody else. Excellent. Just gonna keep throwing hell winds with Edge. Keep jumping with Kane. Bahamut is the way to go with you. And I'll heal with Rosa when I need to, which is basically every time. <laughs> Excellent. The only one that's like really, really in danger of dying here is going to be Rydia. One unlucky Big Bang attack could take her all the way down to zero, even if she's at full health. But my god, the music for this final battle is absolutely epic. Please don't kill Rydia. Alright. Gonna use an elixir to bring her back to full health. Throw Cure 4 on with Rosa. And hope for the best. Excellent. Now, that's not going to get everybody all the way back up to full, but as long as we have around 3,000 HP with everybody else, I think we'll be okay. That is really the only attack we got to worry about. Stay on top of my healing here. Make sure that nobody's gonna die. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with using elixirs to keep your party members alive. That's what they're for. You don't uh, have anything at this point that you can be spending your money on, so you may as well go for broke at the Hummingway House and bring as many elixirs into this final dungeon as possible. I think the ethers are a better bang for your buck as far as maintaining your MP like throughout the dungeon, but uh, elixirs can be a godsend when you don't have a heal coming up and you are getting your ass beat. There we go.
All right, Bahamut's gonna put in some work. We'll throw off another heal with Rosa. I know everybody looks good, but... Yeah, that Big Bang has been doing somewhere around 14 to 2,000 HP worth of damage, and that would kill Rydia at this point, so... Cure 4 is the way to go. I know that Rosa's got Holy. I know you want to use it. I want to use it. But, uh, nothing wrong with playing it safe, either. We'll get there in the end. And I believe he only starts using that attack when he's close to the end. So... I could be wrong about that. But if you're going to try to use Holy, now's the time. Let's try to kill him before he gets another attack. Ooh. Sorry, Rosa. Hell yeah. And in epic Final Fantasy fashion, the final boss disintegrates into nothingness, and we are victorious! Hey, Zeromus, before you go, why don't you eat my butt? Evil lurks in the hearts of men. Incredible. To think that you all had that much power. The blue planet has evolved so much while we've been asleep. <laughs> to hear Rydia talk, I should be the missing link. But about those final words that Zeromus left. As long as evil hearts still exist... Everyone holds both good and evil in his soul, just like there are crystals of light and darkness. Evil will never disappear, but as long as humans continue to band together, cherishing the ideals of virtue, trust, and honor, it will never triumph. Preach on, brother. I make it my personal responsibility to be a bastion of virtue. Bastion of Virtue? What the hell are you talking about? It's almost a miracle that someone like you didn't get possessed by Zemus. This pretty face? Evil? That'd be a crying shame. At least the Blue Planet will be lively with you two around. Now I must return to my sleep. What will you do? We're going to return to our world. Everyone's waiting for us. I see. You have wonderful friends. I will look forward to meeting with your people again. May I... May I go with you? You? 
Yes. I can't go back. Not after what I've done. And I'd also like to meet my father's people. I see. You also have Lunarian blood flowing in your veins, but it will be a long sleep. I know. Brother? I see. I'm not worthy to be called your brother. I've caused you... so much pain. Back then, I was arrogant, merciless, unforgiving. Now I stand before you a broken, defeated, repentant man. Maybe I can comfort the aching of my soul in sleep. We must go now. I pray for peace on the blue planet. Come, we must go. Yes. Cecil, Cecil, forgive him as you did me. He's your brother. Farewell. Cecil. Farewell, brother. Nice Hulk Hogan impression. I mean, thank you, Cecil. Okay, here's hoping the text scrolls slow enough for me to read it, but I do have it up here on my laptop just in case it doesn't. Oh, but first we have to read this part. Hang on. Feel free to take a cigarette break here. This will take fucking forever. I'm going to get myself a Capri Sun. One born from the mouth of a dragon, rising towards the heavens with light and darkness, a sleeping promise shall awaken. Veiled in the light of eternity, Mother Earth shall be blessed with mercy and salvation. The moon has begun to seek its own light. One man, separated from his world by the stream of time, sleeps. Epic fucking music. We have returned to the blue planet. Our ship is now safely buried in the water again for some goddamn reason. Alright, the topic of today's lesson is transfiguration and teleportation. Have you been practicing your teleport spell? Yes, sir. What about your Dejon spell, Pollum? Pollum? Not again. And then I single-handedly killed the teeming hordes of undead on Mount Ordeals. As you can imagine, I was tired, but no rest for the weary. Cecil needed me to cast my powerful blizzard spell. He said I was far more heroic than him. 
Ah, I can see by the blank stare in your eyes you think so too. What do you say we find a quieter place where I can show you something... <clears throat> equally impressive. Ow, ow, ow! You perverted little boy. I was just gonna show her my, uh, fire rod. Yeah, I bet. Our elder's really mad at you. Come on. How many times do I have to tell you not to skip lessons? What do I have to do to get through to a precocious know-it-all? Maybe scribing spells will help you see the importance of lessons. Oh man, that'll take forever. You brought it upon yourself. And furthermore, you lack the discipline to be an effective ruler. Enough already. I ask you for a few suggestions on self-improvement and you rattle off a full-blown dissertation. I haven't even started. Next, your female companions leave something to be desired. What's wrong with women? I happen to like women. That's not what I meant. You accidentally bump into every pretty girl you see and go into convulsions when one bends over to pick something up. Okay, okay, I'll settle down. Please do so for a change. But Rydia, beauty, intelligence, and a sharp tongue. Now there's a woman who could settle me down. Damn, I need her. Young master. She's an incredible girl. I never thought she'd come this far. Hey, Rydia, how come I've got fangs and you don't? I wish I was like you. What are you talking about? Humans and phantom beasts both have the ability to love and care about others. So you see, we're really not that different. Our world will be interesting from now on, don't you think? Yes, she's even got an ancient being like me excited about the future. What a lovely young woman. Inner beauty is the most important, though. Isn't that right, Cecil? Did you just fucking call Cecil ugly? What the hell, Rydia? Dear? You're a queen now. Stop calling me dear. It's not fitting for a woman of your stature. I hate all that formal stuff, though. This royalty bit is new to me. You make a fine queen. Oh, it's time for training. Let's go. Yes. Same to you. I know what you're thinking. You're concerned about the pomp and regalia of nobility. Heed these words of experience. Royalty is nothing more than the gift of leadership and love for one's countrymen. I have the utmost confidence that you will return Fabul to her past glory. Oh, not you. Prince. Sing us another song about the paladin. Not until you're finished with today's work. Don't you want to rebuild the castle? Aw, oh, man. But there are no more monsters. That's what the paladin did for us. He got rid of those scary monsters. But there's some things worse than monsters. We don't want our mommies and daddies getting sick and dying. That's why we've got to rebuild our castle. And we need everybody helping. Even you little children. Tell you what. After you're done with your work, I'll sing an extra special song for you. Okay. Remember, you promised. Anna... Watch me from heaven, Anna. I still have the people of Dempsey to care for. I can only pray that you and your father will smile upon us. Lolly Ho. All right, let's get working and fix up this castle. Your Majesty, we don't have enough raw materials to do that. Lolly, the tanks. Scrap the tanks, we don't need them. There won't be any more wars. Father, have you heard from Cecil or any of the others? 
Thanks for reminding me. A courier from Baron arrived with these greetings. Sir Cecil is ascending the throne and taking Rosa to be his queen. Wow! We've been invited to their coronation. All right! Your Highness, quit lolly ho gagging. What the fuck? Is... Damn it! I already told you to destroy the tanks. Lolly ho! Cecil, Rosa, forgive me. Once more, I cannot attend. My actions have shamed the ranks of Dragon Knights everywhere. Mount Ordeals tested you, Cecil. Now I must test myself. If I surpass my father as a Dragon Knight, his spirit might forgive me. Ah! What's wrong? This is terrible. The moon is not made out of cheese after all. So the moon shot off out into outer space. Hmm. Huh? What's wrong, Cecil? Nothing. I thought... I heard my brother's voice. Oh. I'm just imagining things, probably. What the... Are the two of you still here? It's a beautiful day, and everyone's coming, so hurry up. Sorry about that. Jeez, you'll be able to mess around until you're sick of it later. Come on now, Rosa. No, no. I mean, your majesty. No, just call me Rosa. Really? Well then, Rosa, the maids are all ready. It's you that's holding up the show, so come on, hurry up already. I'm coming. It's been so long since we've last seen everyone. They should be coming about now. Cecil, hurry along. I will, Rosa. I did hear it. I'm sure of it. My brother's voice. He said goodbye. Looks like Edge and Cecil were the first to arrive. There's King Giot and his daughter. Yang's here. There's Palam and Porum. I'll give you one guess which one's sitting on the throne. At least she didn't smack him for once. There's the village elder. Huh. <laughs> he wanted to go talk to King Giot's daughter. Oh, fuck. They invited him. Why? It's not like he's even playing the music at their wedding. Alright, Rydia walked in and Edge can't even look at her. 
Dude's got it bad. Ripple this ripple guess we Well, everybody, that's going to conclude my playthrough of Final Fantasy IV. I hope you had fun watching me play. I hope you learned something, and I hope you had a laugh or two along with me. I suppose it's time to rate the game because that's typically how I sign off on these playthroughs when I'm done. I'll give this game a different set of glasses than I did the first three games on the NES, though. You could really only expect so much from that system, and with the added power of the Super Nintendo and having three games to test the waters, Developers should really know by this point what works and what doesn't, so I may have taken it a bit easy on the first three games for getting things moving, but I definitely won't here. I don't remember liking this game very much the first time I played it. I remember the game being exceptionally easy and really not all that fun. I remember thinking there were too many fake-outs where, he's your friend, no, he's your enemy, no, he's your friend, no, he's your enemy, oh, wait a minute, he died? No, he's alive! I mean, they really took that too far in this game. Just about every character went through it at some point, it seems like. I also remember the dialogue being rather clunky. I'm going to change my tune a bit, though. If you're going to play this game on the SNES, this is the version to play. The translation is much better, and they kept the censored stuff that we didn't originally get in the States when we had Final Fantasy II. It adds just enough harmless fun to get a laugh or two at. I mean, I really, really laughed when I got that Playboy for the first time, and it was so funny that I just had to keep it in my inventory and make jokes about it. I still can't believe that's in the game. It's incredible. <laughs> so, well done. I'll place this game's replay value to 6 out of 10, and honestly, it's, it's much better than I remember. So let's move on to the story. It's better than some in the past as well, right? They took the idea of people searching for crystals of power and restoring peace to a whole new level, like literally, by like 400 extra crystals new level. But that said, there were some seriously dumb moments in the character interactions, multiple people being mind controlled, and Gilbert. At least there's a story though. There really wasn't one that you could follow in Final Fantasy 1, and although 2 and 3 did a better job, I feel like they took the story into more consideration here. It's not the best example of it, but it is certainly passable, and I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Now, I know. I rated earlier games higher, but not only am I using a different set of glasses here because the genre is more established and it's a new console, but knowing what I know about the stories and games to come, fair is fair. 5 out of 10. Now for the characters. Well done. Everyone has a backstory. Everyone has relationships with each other. There's personal growth and struggle. And above all, attitude. Except for Gilbert. I really like the dynamic between Rydia and Edge though, and you really did feel like Palum and Porum were brother and sister. Final Fantasy III gave us the loose idea of a love story, and it's done much, much better here with Cecil and Rosa. You also have clear relationships between many of the main characters as well as their abilities to grow and overcome obstacles from the past. Cecil renounces his darkness and finds forgiveness for his brother Golbees. Rydia overcomes her fear of fire and ascends to become a summoner. And even Cain, at the end, wishes to atone for his misdeeds and climbs Mount Ordeals. I think they did a great job here, and I give the characters a 7 out of 10. Now for the gameplay. The game introduced the active battle system, which became kind of a staple in Final Fantasy for quite a while after this. It really intensifies the mood of certain battles, gets your heart rate up, and causes you to think and make adjustments on the fly. I really like what this brings to the game. They also reworked the idea of a job system in a way. Final Fantasy 1 gave you the choice between jobs and then you were just stuck with them. Final Fantasy 2 gave you a rotating fourth character that would essentially add functionality to the party above whatever you had created in your other three characters. And Final Fantasy III gave you the ability to change jobs on the fly. They took all of this and threw it in a blender and gave you one character that was a constant and a rotating cast that would provide you with different abilities for different sections of the game. Although you couldn't choose these characters, it did add variety. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's better than I remember. I don't feel like I did a very good job in-game of voicing my appreciation for the art though, and that makes me a little sad. 
I tried to fight all the enemies in the game, but I know that I failed to do that, and it doesn't mean that I didn't appreciate the art. I love the different transitions for different bosses, where they have different phases or whatever. I really enjoyed the animations of the characters when, you know, say Cecil at the beginning of the game would bow his head because he was upset. They really, really did a great job with the artwork in this game, but since it is the only the first one on the console, you know it gets better from here. And the enemies looked great, Malboros come to mind, that's a staple in Final Fantasy, but being that you know it gets better from here, I have to give it a 7 out of the 10. But seriously, seriously, excellent job. Uh, I mean, just because that would be a C on a test doesn't mean that it's a C in my book here. Uh, I mean, it's seriously, great job. And last but not least, the music. And you know it's coming. I, I can't help myself. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Nobu Uematsu is so, so good here. Just listen to what's happening in the background. Some of my favorite tracks are the boss themes, though. The battle theme, the regular battle theme is great, but the boss theme is even better. And the final boss theme is great, too. The prelude, obviously, is given a whole new section here, and it's amazing. Rydia's theme is good, and I may be alone here, but the castle theme from the dwarf castle is, is awesome. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> I'd give this a perfect 10 out of 10, but there's a few tracks that fell kind of flat for me. The moon theme comes to mind. It's kind of boring. And uh, not a, the only song Gilbert knows how to play in his harp also kind of sucks. Um, perhaps Nobu Uematsu knew that we weren't going to like that character no matter what he did, so th maybe I should give that a pass. But the music for me is a 9 out of 10, and even if you're only playing the game for that, it's well worth it. So there you have it. That's my playthrough and review of Final Fantasy IV. It's not the best game in the series. In fact, it's not even my favorite that I've played so far. And it's, wor it's worth a go. It really is. It's worth a go. But if you were going to play one, play this version of it. The original version we got in the U.S. that was labeled as Final Fantasy II is not as good as this. So, uh, I don't know. The game should only take you about 20 hours or so. And it does have me excited for the Pixel Remaster, so... I don't know. I, I say play it, but it's not my favorite in the series. So with all that crap having been said, thank you guys so much for watching. and I appreciate it as always. And if you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me. It helps other people find these videos and it lets me have a little bit more fun playing, to be honest. I, I have fun interacting with all you guys in the comment section. So up next for me is going to be Final Fantasy V. I hope to see all of you guys there. And until then... Take care, everyone. See ya.